It's like when you, your parents, they choose for you the toys that you have to play with. Sometimes it's boring. In a moment, uh, Gaspar gives a smile and he, he puts a smile just for a joke. And we say, ah, don't move. <laughs> we take a picture and uh, that was the idea. You, your logo is not a logo. It will be a word mark and we will keep the old one just to do like the evolution. So, good evening. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonsoir. Bonsoir. We are Mathias and Jeremy. And we do graphic design and especially brand design inside an agency called Graphene. So we will... <laughs> Sorry. We will tell you some story about the company and we will talk about some case study about uh, our work. Um, so let's start. And we excuse first for ang our English, or well, my English is not so good, <laughs> but... <laughs> we will do our best. So, uh, Graphene is a um, uh, 20 years old company and you can see the beginning in the 2000 in the I don't know the, the numbers, but we have three steps of the company. At the, at the first, we met, um, we met us. We were five students in an art uh, applied school in Paris, Dupere, and we met uh, fantastic teachers. And this guy, uh, we give us our name, Raphine. It was a graphic designer, um, was a, a type. Uh, designers, no. Oh, yeah. He, he teaches us about uh, all the typography that we didn't know when we we be, began our studies, because it's very difficult when you don't know about typography, just to know the basis. So the first part of of, of our little history is we start to to work as a freelancers, and we um, we build the agency. At this step. So, um, the name graphene is a Greek word which means to write and to draw. And um, when you do branding, you write and you draw. The write is a strategy and you draw is a design. And the both together build the, the brand, uh, the branding. And you have the addiction. Inside the name of the company. But it's caffeine and not cocaine. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but as you like. No. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, drugs is dangerous because uh, last week we, we've got, um, uh, what's the word for censuré? Uh, we are uh, blocked by Facebook because we made a post about cannabis branding and Facebook don't like this kind of post, so they... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't take drugs. Uh, at the beginning, we do a little website which is called Bombay TV. It's a website where you can uh, subtitle some Bollywood movies. It's like um, websites for, um, for send jokes to your friends. And uh, this website um, was a... You can see, but uh, many, many visitors come on this. And at this step, uh, we're going to be pushed on the Google page. And we are first with the word uh, Agence de Communication, Communication Agency. So at this step, we're going to have many works because of this. At this moment, we, we, we start to write uh, on, uh, um, on our blog. We, send the blog. we start the blog. And until today, we post one. Um, one post by week since 10 years. And we made many, many, um, we treat many, many subjects all, all over the time. So uh, as uh, Mathias told you, we, we started as a collective. We were five people, but we, 
When we started, we didn't talk about what we wanted to do inside the company. We were graphic designer, but we, we weren't brand designer. And as time goes on, Matthias and me, we, we get pushed by logo design, brand design, and it was like something quite natural that we wanted branding, we wanted to, to make branded design, but it was not shared by all, uh, all, of, all our partners. So we, we enter into a very difficult period. And as you can see, we had some trouble with another company uh, called Grafem. Grafem uh, sent a, a lawsuit for a counterfeit because uh, they told us that uh, their name, our name was a, a copy of their name. So it, it lasted almost four years that we had to, to stand against this, this battle and to fight just to, to save our name. And Matthias and me, we, we told ourselves, if we can just survive this, uh, this, uh, you know, this, these difficulties, maybe we should continue in branding because we love our brand, we love graphene, we don't want to change the name. And we, we thought that it was, uh, you know, like uh, injustice because we don't have the same name. We, we have a concept. We are not in the dictionary. We, we created this name. So let's go against, let's try to defend it. And if we can go like uh, through these uh, difficult times, maybe we should go into this uh, activity of branding. And you will see that it, uh, in the end, we managed to, to keep the, the brand graphene. So what uh, Grafem don't know, uh, they paid us uh, the best um, uh, formation yes. about uh, trade, trademark law and what is a brand. And we have to, um, to yeah. ask to so many people to, to write letters for us. And we made a beautiful network with the major company, we, best we, French designers. We learned a lot. And we learned a lot. Very quickly. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, in a sense, it was good, but we didn't know at this time. So we have to prove the singularity of graphene. And um, at first, we have five partners. At this time, at the same time, we, we, uh, we are on a divorce. What do you want for divorce? We're gonna, we, we, we broke up. Right. We broke but up. Uh, it was really difficult. And uh, two years after, we lost in the first instance, the, um, the lawsuit. Um, we come back uh, two years after with a kind of victory. We are, it's not a victory because- uh, We didn't lose. We, we didn't lose. We, we kept our name and they, they kept uh, there. <coughs> yeah, in the same time during this period, because during this period we are, we are two. Uh, I open an office in Lyon and is still uh, working in Paris. And we are two in Graphene, uh, Jeremy in Paris and me in Lyon. Uh, we, we both a blog about uh, brand uh, actualities, brand news, uh, which is called ActuLogo. It was a part of uh, our blog, and we, um, we, we're doing um, There are these de cas, the case study about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, at this time, we, are, uh, we can uh, take off and we can uh, rebuild a team and uh, concentrate ourselves on uh, branding uh, only in this field. So, uh, why did we choose branding? <laughs> because we didn't want to tell the story of others. You know, when it's like, if I had to make a comparison, it's like when you, your parents, they choose for you the toys that you have to play with. Sometimes it's boring. So I think it's the same when we do branding because when we started, we were freelancer and we were like... Uh, Generalist? Yeah, but we are called at the last time just to help big companies uh, 
to, to do a leaflet, to do a website, to do an illustration, but it was only one shot. It was not the big story. And we wanted to tell the big story. And to choose branding design was a solution just to have the big scope. We begin with the logo and we do all the guidelines. It, it was much, much more interesting. So we work on our methodology a lot to structure the, um, the works. Uh, we work a lot on, about the strategy part of the, of the business because we are designers, we, co we come from applied school, um, design school, so we know design, but this part is a, it's like um, it's, uh, the publicity, <laughs> publicity is a advertisement. advertisement, sorry, uh, it's a marketing field, and we have to, to know this field, so we work a lot about this. And we build a team, uh, a fantastic team. So there is six people in Lyon and six people in, in Paris. Uh, it's the most, uh, we are really proud of this team because everybody worked together and that's the best thing uh, that I could wish. Uh, we have people from uh, different, Philippe was Indian, Adrienne was Hungarian, and Tiffen was um, American, and so it's a mix of cultures. So, doo -doo -doo. let's talk about logo. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can choose when I I I, I, uh, I stop the. <laughs> <laughs> What a coincidence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the, the Paris Convention and Visitor Bureau. Uh, the difficulty when you work on something about Paris is difficult to forget the Eiffel Towers. And there is so many, many logos with the Eiffel Towers. Uh, funky logo, kitsch logo, and uh, ugly logo. So we have an equation. It's the tourism office. So we build a world with the Eiffel Towers. At first, uh, it's the letter A, because it's the biggest one. It looks like the Eiffel Tower. So, it's so it was so easy to think about this. And just after, you have to uh, made it better than the, just a world with a big letters. So we made this kind of uh, dancing letters with this dot on the eye that you could imagine what you want, like a confetti, like the moon, uh, perhaps it's like the, um, the skyline of a building. And at the end, is Paris is a, Paris est une fête, Paris is a fest. Okay. It's a party. Uh, hmm? It's a party. It's a party. Paris. Uh, that was just as um, the same uh, moment of the attentat, of the um, attacks in Paris. So we have to, uh, to make uh, colorful projects. Not this part. This part is uh, a declination of the, um, of the brand for the Paris Pass Libre. It's like a card for visiting Paris. So, uh, in this part, we use only the dot, like the point of the city, and like the link between two touristic points. Only two color colors. The building. And uh, the other part of the project was on the uh, iconography. We work with uh, two illustrators. This first one is Séverin Millet. It's a French, it's a illustrator from Lyon. Uh, we want to work with illustration. It's really hard. It was really hard to to um, um, to, 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 to convince to, the, the client yes, to choose yes. illustration because at the first he wanted photography. Like because he Instagram. wanted to show Paris in a very like uh, realistic way. 
in a romantic way, like Instagram with filters and anything like this. So after many times, we convince uh, the client to, to choose this kind of uh, illustration. Uh, it's, um, it's a map was uh, diffused at one million uh, exemplary, exemplary. Uh, and it's a different map in different language, and we made one illustration of a foot, because when you walk in the street, you just see the, the, the foot was walking. And uh, there is some kind of, another kind of illustration. And the second year, we work with Vincent Maé, uh, another kind of illustration, more realistic, perhaps. And we always the same. Alors, at the beginning, we have a big problem because uh, they don't want to, they, um, they ask us a logo. We made a logo. And uh, they say, uh, so, uh, two months after, they don't change one. the logo. Uh, this is the whole logo. And at the beginning, they ask us to, to just to change this one. But, but this is not what happened. Because they told, you, your logo is not a logo. It will be a word mark. And we will keep the whole one just to do like the evolution. Yes, That's it's, it. it's a political uh, decision mm. to, to, to keep the, the old logo and, uh, and not spend <coughs> money to change the logo, but to change uh, the graphic charters. So it was a logo, but I can't say it's a logo. <laughs> <laughs> so you, we, we, the, the, the composition is really, really simple. We use the word mark in big, and you can look inside the letters and see the colors, like uh, the patterns, and discover the, the picture after. OK, thank you. Uh, a new project. So we, we do uh, logo every day. But uh, as time goes on, the, some clients begin to, to ask for name. And this is something very important when we do branding design. Because sometimes you have a project, and you have a company, or maybe an institution, and the name is bad. And when the name is bad, you can't do a good logo with a bad name. No, sometimes it's impossible. Because letters are very important. Phonetic are important. So this project I will show you, it's for uh, public transport in the south of France, in a, in a city called Perpignan. It's near, it's near Spain. Salvador Dali is the center of the world. Yeah, uh, Salvador Dali told that the, the station yeah. of Perpignan is the center of the world. So you, you can see uh, on the left the old logo. It's a very corporate logo. It's Compagnie Transport, Perpignan, Méditerranée. And you have like uh, the, the acronym CTPM, Perpignan.com. So you, it's very difficult to seduce like uh, uh, people with this kind of logo because you don't have a brand territory. You don't have like, uh, um, um, you know, like a, some kind of universe. It's just an institution that tells what it is, transport. And they want it to, to appear like uh, younger people. So they ask for a new name. And Sankeo is the name that we came for. Because Sankeo, so we spent like many months, uh, uh, almost three months, just to think about the name. But Sankeo, it comes from uh, San et Or, which means blood and gold, and blood and gold is a, a, like a... The color of... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tagline of this kind of uh, territory. It's from Catalonia. So we, we took the, this uh, sentence from the, the history of the, uh, the, the territory, and we, we transform it just to make it like much shorter. We skip the, the R uh, that is uh, at the end of the world. And we, we, we make Sankeo, new name for the Perpignan Public Transportation Service. So that, that was uh, the first step. And the second one was to find the, the, the story just to, to create the guidelines 
and the, the graphic style of this brand. So we took the, the stripes of Catalonia, we took the, the diamonds that you can find, it's like Grena, I think, from this, uh, this uh, party of uh, this uh, <coughs> south of France. We, we took flashy colors because we, you have to, to seduce young people, so flashy colors. And uh, uh, a set of animals of symbol that uh, are linked to the territory. To the territory yes. And so it, it became the, the system, the visual system of, system of Sankeo. So you can see the new name and the new logo. And I can tell you that this is not my favorite, favorite logo. I'm not very proud of this logo, but I'm proud of the name because I think the name is quite efficient. The logo is fun, but it maybe is, is a bit clumsy, but it's okay. So you can see like politicians <laughs> doing the, the inauguration <laughs> of the bus. <laughs> and they, yeah, we have like pins with butterflies. What you don't see in this picture, there is a manifestation just yeah. uh, around. Because the driver, they, they, they were on strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. The driver of the bus were on strike because they get not, not uh, enough uh, money. So yeah, you, you can see all the, the, the colors, the, the stripes, and the, the animals. You have this set of pictograms. So you have like everything that you can find it in this area of France. Sun, beach, birds, flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> so it was quite fun to, to create this uh, universe for, uh, for public transport. But we, we have to, to create a very strong uh, brand territory just for the people to get emotional with the brand. OK, it was Sankeo, another case study. Saint-Etienne Opera House. Um, sometimes it's like, it's a quite like a Paris uh, branding. Uh, you just have to, sometimes the answer is just in front of your eyes and when we're visiting the building, uh, it's an ugly building, but in the top of the roof there is a pagoda, like this, like the, in top, and uh, it's like a smile just uh, upstairs and when you are, <coughs> the, opera, the opera houses was on a, um, little mountain and when you are in the center of the city you see only the, the smile uh, 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 les arbres. And <laughs> <laughs> so uh, ah I don't put the logo. Maybe after? No? Okay. Here <laughs> there is a logo. I forget a slide. So uh, opera uh, we use the accent to like the pagoda of the building and like the promise of a smiling place. Uh, Saint-Etienne was a really popular city, it's not an um, opéra bourgeois, it's not, um, uh, it's really um, popular, popular. So uh, the logo was really simple, but in this simplicity there is many things inside. There is the story of the smile. We use this smile for the land for the first campaign. And there is a story of the movement between this part and this part, like if the logo was moving like um, a musical note. Um, and you can reinvest uh, this moving in the posters. So we do the graphic charters, charters for the um, for the graphic designer was uh, inside the opera and they uh, decline different kind of posters. And there is this story of smile 
we took many, many pictures. Uh, at first, we used uh, ImageBank for the, uh, for the, for the, for the, the competition. But when we win the competition, we want to take real pictures. And we ask them to people who was working in the opera to, uh, to smile for us. <laughs> and we take 100 portraits of many people. And we choose uh, 20 portraits for use in the communication. And all the portraits were in the brochure, in the leaflet, in the program. So it was also a moment, it was also a moment uh, really difficult in the management of the opera because the director was, um, the first director was keep, was keep out and she come back. So at this time, there is two di directors in the same time for six months in the opera and they fight us. So they re it's really hard. And um, when we're doing this, uh, this campaign, and we say, okay, we want to have this guy in the cover of the program, and uh, uh, this guy, this woman, because uh, uh, we love their face. And this guy was just uh, single work and simple workers, and uh, she uh, was um, the woman who, who made the um, uh, who made the menage, who made the, the, the cleaner, and uh, they are, they are wonderful. So they accept to, to have uh, many kinds of people on the cover for the first campaign. And this is the second campaign. And for this time, we work with a musician, the orchestra, and we use the smile, but in a different way. So the, the, the claim was um, emotion first, in the first plan. And we made also picture for um, for show. L'émotion au premier plan. <coughs> and each year, alors, we work with them uh, three years. Uh, and each year, we made the the campaign season, the show posters, and a simple poster that they can do us, uh, they, themselves. Uh, with, with us. And the third year, it was a story of sharing emotions. And each cover is like um, a line uh, which, uh, where each other gives a smile. I love this poster because it was really difficult to uh, reimagine a new story with this uh, with this brand each year, and it's from the, the first and the second year was uh, second years was really easy to to design because uh, Adrienne made them uh, really easily. I don't know how, but uh, it was really good. But the third year it was really difficult to to reimagine, and we made uh, many many. Uh, uh, um, uh, discussion at the office, and one day we have uh, the little smile in papers, and we talk and we search for my ideas. And uh, uh, in a moment, uh, Gaspar gives a smile and he, he puts a smile just for a joke. And we say, "Ah, don't move!" <laughs> we take a picture, and uh, that was the idea. So it's always uh, people from uh, the opera. The first, year, the first campaign, we have the, the workers. The second year, the musician. And the third year, everybody, uh, people from the public, uh, people from the uh, art field, and uh, people from uh, inside the workers. And for the, um, for the different show, we made the same, the same story uh, with the end. We keep some things. And, uh, it's uh, really, really funny to make this kind of pictures in opera houses because they have many, many objects in the uh, in the reserve. In the um, uh, okay. Uh, 
Fontevraud, Royal Abbey. Alors, Fontevraud, it's a, it's a place, it's a royal abbey. It's where uh, you can find the tomb of Aliénor d'Aquitaine et, et Richard, Richard Lionheart. <laughs> okay, so, so it's, a, it's a place of uh, history. But they decided to open a restaurant, an hotel, and to have a, a, a cultural program. So they wanted to rebrand uh, all the place just to communicate on each part of this project. So as you can see, this is like a, a, place, where, a place when you go on holiday with the kids, just to see like old stone. Yeah, it's uh, around the Vallée de la Loire. It's very beautiful. And uh, the director of the place, uh, he told us, I want Fontebro to be an alternative tourist destination to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to, to make like some twist about the, the, the perception that we could have about this place, because it's old stone, but he wanted to, as he say, uh, do the, to make the, the patrimoine of tomorrow. I don't know if, if it means something. Heritage. You just heritage. Took, heritage of tomorrow. Yeah, this is it, the heritage of tomorrow. Because w when we think about heritage, heritage we think of uh, old stone preservation. And he wanted to create the new heritage. So he wanted to, to make this place something very uh, contemporary. Yeah, very contemporary and, and something very like you can live inside. So it was very exciting for us to, to, to <laughs> yeah. This, this was the first joke because he told me, I want to make like an alternative to Disneyland. But we, we find that there were very smart people and that we could just try this kind of stuff. <laughs> but that is not the, the, the solution we came with. But what is uh, very important, it's uh, that the, this place, Fontevraud, uh, it uh, still exists today, nowadays, because it, uh, it was a prison after the revolution. It became a prison. So the, the history of the place is very uh, singular. And we wanted to reflect this kind of singularity in the brand. So we, we started with the, the slash. And you can say anti-slash, I don't know. And we started with the concept of sacred and profound, because it's a secret place. But at the same time, you can fed so many tourists that it's not sacred like anymore. So we started with this single and simple symbol. And we decided to, to create like a complete typeface. So why a typeface? It's because we, we needed to, to make many logos. You have the old logo and the new logo. So it's only Fontevraud. You have the slash that came in, in the, the hair. It's like, a, it's at the same time like a, a, a ray of light. And at the same time, it's something like uh, very aggressive. But we needed to, to create a logo for the hostel, for the restaurant, for the abbey, for the cultural programmation, and yeah. everything that is seminar, professional seminar. And we told ourselves, if we make like an icon, if we make like a, a symbol, like, you know, we would have to repeat this symbol every time we made a logo type. So we thought it was clever just to draw a typeface and just to play with the word and to play with the slash, just to create like a flexible system. And we also played with the, the ligature of the type. As you can see, it's a stencil typeface. And we had some pictograms 
just to speak about all the places that you can find in Fontevraud, because of course, you can drink wine. You have a Charcoeur de Lyon Aliénor. And you, you have everything. But, but what is important is we have like a, a, a very uh, distinctive style that is very flexible. And you can do like outside signage. But we, we managed to, to create like all the assets for TV because you have TV in the hostel and they, they, they do a, a, a lot of uh, content for, uh, for the TV and for uh, online. Uh, we made also uh, a box that you can offer for your husband, your wife, or some people, if you want uh, them to discover the place. So it's a box with the perfume, <coughs> because they made a, a, an olfactive uh, signature of the place. Mm -hmm. So we designed this box, and you can find the pictogram. We made a, a, a magazine because they, they didn't want to, to make like a classic leaflet, but they wanted to tell about the, the spirit of the place by creating a, this magazine. And we also created a, a digital signage just to tell the story of the place because they wanted to create an alternative of the audio guide the classic audio guide that you put uh, on your ear. But it's a uh, motion design. So it's, it's quite a, a very innovative, uh, innovative place. This was Fontevraud. Um, this mm, Baroque? 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 Baroque. I don't know. Baroque <laughs> musical centers in Versailles. It was like a foundation about Baroque music, Baroque, Baroque music. And um, for this logo, um, everybody in France know Versailles. Uh, Louis XIV, Louis uh, 40, 14 was called Le Roi Soleil, the king. Uh, the Sun King, and um, this time in the Baroque style, there is many, many uh, uh, ray of light in the church and something like this. And we mix two ideas, the idea of music, the spectrum of the music, and the ray of light of the sun, and the ray of light like the Versailles. Alors, ah. Where is my mouse? Mm -hmm. So we program the logo with uh, with an uh, After Effects code to um, to make made appear the, the ray of light with the sound, the real sound of the music. So each time they use the logo with music, they can make the logo a, a different shape. So just after this, we made a, a really simple brand in black and white. Each time we use the logo, we try to use a different uh, shape of the logo. We made some uh, Posters of layout of posters, really easy to to do for us. We made some um, another kind of posters of for the different events that they do, and it's a working progress. Each month, it's a different 
graphic shutters, shutters. Because in uh, two years, we have three di different directors in, uh, in front of us, and each one wants something different. So we don't uh, communicate uh, at this time with yours. It's the first time we show the project in public. But um, maybe one day, we have a final graphic shutters. So we made different declination for the Cercle Ramo, it's a Mécena uh, organization, and a really minimal uh, layout. Uh, Ministry of Justice, it's a very strange project because we never thought we, we could uh, create something for this uh, administration. Uh, this is the, the actual logotype of uh, Ministry of Justice in France. This is the classic uh, French flag and uh, with the profile of uh, Marianne in the... Every ministry has this yeah. same logo. You, you, you keep the flag and you just change the, the word. But they wanted to create, they wanted to have a, a new, uh, new guideline, but they had to keep this logo. So we had, we had to find a, a solution, how we can make a, a, a new, new assets if we have to, to keep this logo. And uh, during the first meeting with the, the, the intern communication team, we, we had the feeling that we could bring a custom typeface. That it could be a way to create a very strong guideline, very strong brand, and to keep the, the old logo. So we, we went deep into the, the symbol of justice, and we find this logo that was a, a former logo of the, the ministry that wasn't used anymore. And we, we, we found out this, uh, this strange balance. It's a, it's a very, very minimal, minimalist balance that you have below the, the typography with the, the three line. It's a balance of justice. Balance of tennis. And uh, you have this typography. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it's like a... a Long graphing. Yeah, you have like a stroke outside line. We, we came up with the uh, symbols that uh, are used in the penitentiary administration. So it's like uh, to, to make the, the difference between the, the, the grade, I don't know how you call it. So it's also lines, so that was interesting. And of course, we came up with the equal icon. Because of justice, we are all equal in front of it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we came up with all this, uh, this symbol, and uh, we started to, to, to imagine what kind of typography we could, we could draw with all these assets. And the, the very first I, idea we had was to create a, this kind of inline, inline typeface. Uh, as you could see, this is the complete word mark. This is not the new logo. This is only just a word mark that will be used with the old logo, but we could play with the word. So, we, as you can see, the, the equal icon is a, the, the very start of the, of the line, and we, we play with it just to draw all the letters. <coughs> but in the first meeting, they, they, they saw what we did for Fontevraud, and uh, they told us, yeah, we like this project. Maybe you could do the same for us. But it, it is very difficult because when we, we came up with this ID, they, they asked for another ID. I, we want just 
two proposal of typeface. But we, we didn't find something that was so easy to explain that this proposal. So we, we told us, that's it. That's it. But as you can see, yeah. This is a, the typography in, in context. But the, <clears throat> we had many, many discussions about the, the legibility of this font. And the project, he, many times, he, he almost blown. But we, we went uh, until the end. So as you can see, the, the typography and the, the, the flexible blocks, <coughs> they managed to create just uh, the assets that you can remember and to, you can see that it, it's from the, the Ministry of, of Justice. <coughs> The goal was to, to create a, like just a good cultural vibe, something like very corporate, just beautiful but very serious. And I think we, we find a good mix. <coughs> Ansi. Ansi. It's like, uh, so I, I work in Lyon. I come from Grenoble, and I love the mountains, the Alpes, and the Bruce, Innsbruck, too. <laughs> Annecy, it's um, a city, it's uh, the major city of the, the Savoy, Savoy region, La Savoie. And we found um, really simple tricks on this logo. So Annecy was the major city, the major city of the Savoie. And we want to, we start with to, to search around the, the Savoy Cross, and we found this idea really simple, but we don't found the, the idea first. There is um, two steps in the competition. At first, we made a first logo with a, a kind of flowers, and um, the competition was stopped by the client because they don't find a good logo. There is a, maybe 10 companies in the competition, and they restart a new competition, and they rebrief us uh, with uh, new information, and uh, what we heard they want to put on the logo was the mountain and the lake. The lake. And see there is a big lake. And, uh, we have found this idea, and there is no lake and no, and no mountain. <laughs> so the most difficult for us was to uh, to sell this idea, sell this idea, and uh, we made a. I don't put the picture on the presentation, but we made a survey in the street with three folk, uh, three logo, fake logo, three fake logo. One with the flowers we made at the, the first step, one with this logo, and one with a mountain. We, we take on a, another logo, a famous logo of Le Grand Annecy. It's uh, another um, territory uh, logo. And we changed the name of the city. We made Annelise, Annelois, and an Annelie to don't disturb the, the people we answer the survey. And we go in the street in Lyon, and we ask people in which city we want to, you want to go to travel for holidays, in which city you want to uh, go for the, your uh, retreat uh, when you when it was old and you stopped work, and in which city you want to, to start your, your company or you want to study uh, for your, to, to the which university. And um, the majority of the people say Anne-Loi, it was a logo with the cross, uh, they want to start uh, their studies or to start their company in this city. And uh, 
for the holidays. They want always want uh, everybody want to go to the flower city or the, the mountain city. And we came to present the project and we say, uh, do you want a logo for the whole people, for the tourists, or for the young people? And when you answer the question, you have to choose this logo. So they choose this logo. Uh, it, just after, it's behind the, the strategy is also a kind of Swiss style uh, city. And C is the more Swiss uh, city in France. It's really, uh, there is a lot of money, a lot of uh, high tech, a lot of uh, good university. And um, it's a, a brand territory like Savoie and Switzerland. It's the same way of uh, thinking, the same way of work, uh, the same philosophy, the same uh, uh, religion. And uh, so it's a really Switzerland brand. <laughs> So, just after, donc, we found the, the logo, and uh, for the graphic charter, we just use the, 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 the red cross, the white cross, with this link to make um, a stroke, uh, comment tu dis un cadre? A frame. A frame. And once you have your frame, you have, you have your story, it's really easy to, uh, to make a layout, to bring different images together, to point something on the frame. Every time <coughs> when you, our work is to imagine the concept, the toolbox, and just after to explain the toolbox to our client, and they use it uh, instead of us after. So the system might be easy to, to use, but really flexible to make different kind of thing with a, a minimal tools. Oh, <laughs> well, it's okay. Okay. Uh, Vitrine Media. Uh, Vitrine Media is a company that <coughs> creates and sell a bright display for retail. And they, they ask us to, to change their logotype. But that was not the, the most difficult part of the job. So you have the, the old logo and the new logo. They, they wanted to have like a very, you know, like a Parisian image, very uh, classy. So we came up with this monogram it's a, it's a ligature between a V and an M, and it's also like three screen in perspective. This is very simple. And of course, we got an inspiration from the, the typeface. It's called Bifur. It, it was created by, by a, Cassandre, who was a French graphic designer. He is very famous for all the poster he created. So as you can see, if we skip all the gray parts, we are very, very close to this. So this is uh, the old world mark. They, they used to, to, to set this logo with the bank gothic font. So this was a huge problem because they have like a company in more than 20 countries all over the world. And they, they wanted us to, to, to improve and to make our graphic charter more easy. But they, they didn't have the money just to get the license for more than 20 countries to buy and to use the bank gothic font. As, and as you can see, this is bank gothic font. So we didn't make this. 
This is one of the most used font for all the blockbusters that come from Hollywood. That's not very <laughs> posh. <coughs> so I, I want uh, I, I use this uh, this screen because I wanted uh, them to be like disgusted with this font, <laughs> but it wasn't enough. <laughs> and, and the 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 problem of the 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 money is is more efficient because. Yeah, and I told them, but you don't see this, this typography. You have like a, a robot, robotic look and feel. You, you, you can't use this, this typography now. Use something like more human, more like flexible. But no, we, we, we love being gothic. <laughs> yeah, OK. But you don't have the money, so choose my font. <laughs> So we we made the, we, we we designed this font. We we kept like the the you have like a design that is almost extended. So we we kept this, but we 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 make a, a design very very more rounded and very more human. We wanted to to have something more timeless, you know. Like Chanel, yeah, they love Chanel. <laughs> this is the, this kind of of word that you can say if you want to seduce your client. Chanel, Paris. <laughs> but joke aside, it, it was very useful because you have Vitrine Media. This is the name of the company, but they have a range of products very big. So we use this monogram VM with the little screen. And we use this new typography just to set all this logotype and to create like a, a very strong consistency between the, the logotype of the, the company and all the logotype of the product. So it was very useful. OK, it was Vitrine Media. And now Minka Coworking. Minka Coworking is a co-working space, as you, the name can explain it. And they, they came for us showing this logo type that were created by another person. And they told us, it is a problem. We, we don't like this kind of logotype. We are called Minka because one of the two founders is from Colombia. And in a pre-Columbian world, Minka means a work uh, for social purpose. So it fits very well with the, the purpose of the, the project. So they, they, they showed this logo. And we came with this solution because this is the way we we end up project in branding. We love typography, and the the we have to find a good mix between a project which is located in Paris near Montmartre, <coughs> but they wanted like something an, an exotic vibe, you know, from Colombia. But we didn't want to do this. <coughs> so we, we create this, uh, this word mark. Like, it's like a totem, you know? And we play with this kind of pattern with the M and the A, <coughs> just to find the, the right balance with a, a design that maybe came from the Baos and something that can be like quite decorative quite ethnic, maybe. But just, to, just to, to find the right balance that can fit a place you find in the city. Because it's near the, the Sacré-Cœur. So they, they really they quite enjoyed this, uh, this proposition. 
So we decided to, to, to show the, the, the potential of this mark. So we create signage on the, the pavement, on the shop, just to show how easy it is, is it to use. As you can see, you have all the furniture and you, you find, the, you, you can see the ethnic style. It's very cozy, it's very green. And we created this uh, tagline, co-work, collab, <coughs> just to, to put in front of this logotype. But a logotype sometimes is not, is not enough, and we, we had to create a set of icons, pictograms. So we, we played with the, the letters. You can see the M, you can see the N, and we, we played with it like a puzzle, just to use the letter forms and recombine them to create, like, I don't know, a milkshake books, printer, and all this stuff. And men and women, I don't see them. Yeah. I discover men, women. Yeah. <laughs> and also numbers. And this is just like a, a flyer. And you can see the logotype, the, the pictogram, and the numbers. So you, you really have a, a very complete toolbox. And as you can see on the color, you have the letters. You can put it in a square, it's very easy. To, to put on a Facebook page, and you can play with it. And the, the sense of play is very important because when you do a co-working space, you need to, to create like a, it's not a team, but it's a community. So you can tell the people just, this is my logo type, you can play with it. It's a, it's designed for, for this purpose. Okay, uh, this is the end. <laughs> May, almost the end. So, what we can say, yeah, we work hard, but we try to have fun at the same time. <laughs> and uh, what about this project? It was a... Uh, um, yeah. One day, uh, Adobe, Adobe, Adobe. Uh, Adobe uh, asked us to, um, to make something, to, to use a font they, they rediscovered. Uh, with, yeah. uh, they, they, re, they found some old font from, from the, the Baos. Yes. And for the promotion, for the, uh, they asked us to, to, to make a, a project, a branding project. So uh, we searched long time what we can do uh, we don't want to do a, a revival posters or also we don't want to create a, a fake brand and um, or just a tribute and uh, at this time there is a, the world cup of football and uh, a guy on the company was a fan of football team and he wanted to, to make the barcelona brand uh, for the comment on appelle ça the, the FC Barcelona, the uh, Football Club de Barcelona. And then we said, no, no, I don't like football. <laughs> but uh, why not the Barros Football Club? So we imagine a brand with the most beautiful, <laughs> famous designer of the world. And we made the... <laughs> and we made a wonderful team with... Uh, Ropius, Volga Ropius, Polikli, and everybody. That was like a sort of kind of um, recreation. No, the word for recreation. 
a play full time. And in Paris, they do poster with uh, Baus Wurst. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.